guys, I know it's been a while um, since my last update and a lot has happened since then. I think my last one was 27 minutes and I am now currently 31 plus 3, yeah, 31 plus 3. So after that, my 27 weeks, we pretty much got approved for our new place, Calgary, because if you remember, we moved in, in the first week of January. So we got approved, and we moved in. We've been here for three weeks, maybe a month now. And yeah, this is like seven by room. I'll have to do like a tour later. But yeah, so what has happened? So we moved in. I've been getting still a lot of um, on and off contractions, nothing too close, so it's nothing serious. Um, I started kick counting and all of that. Um, I had failed my first glucose, had to do a second. I passed the three hour test. Ugh, my tongue is blue from eating pixie sticks. That's like one of my cravings. I, I like I can't explain what the craving is. It's like not a craving for a food, but a texture. So like a grainy texture. So I'm in. It's so bad. Pixie sticks, sugar, um, slushies. Kind of has that texture. Anything like that has been what I've been wanting. Like my son likes to eat snow when we go ice fishing. It's all fresh snow. And that's honestly what started it. And yeah. So that's like my craving. And yeah. And so um, I have an appointment this week slash next week. I have one on Wednesday where I'll be 31 plus 6. And then an ultrasound on Thursday, which will be a new week. So I'll be 32 weeks. And that's to make sure it's a growth scan. To make sure Elsie's still growing. And yeah, my stomach is still behind. So I'm measuring behind now two weeks from my last appointment, which is almost two weeks ago. So I'll find out if I'm still measuring behind or more behind. Since that was one of my risks that I have for this pregnancy. Because I had intrauterine growth restriction with my son. He stopped growing at... 31 weeks, which is this week, which brings me to my next update. We made it to 31 weeks. Um, so far, my blood pressure has only spiked, well not spiked, not even spiked, has only been high once, so like over the level once. Other than that, since then, it's been consistent. Um, I have been getting a lot of headaches lately and swelling in my legs and numbness. Unfortunately, with where we live now, there's no shopping or anything to check my blood pressure, so I don't even know if I have high blood pressure, but with my son, I didn't even feel any symptoms, and I had it spiked, and I was like on, uh, what's it called, seizure watch and all of that, and this time, I don't know, I feel stuff. It's been a harder pregnancy physically for me since I am growing. Like, I always tell people, with this pregnancy, I feel like I'm actually experiencing pregnancy with my first pregnancy. Honestly, I was fine the whole time. I wasn't really in much pain ever. Even when I was in the hospital, I wasn't in pain. I didn't feel the symptoms of the hypertension blood pressure. Like, I felt nothing like that. I wasn't that big to where I was hurting so much and I was like, just able to move and all of that. And this pregnancy has been way different. Like. I'm bigger, I've had the same health risks as last time, plus some new ones. I've fallen down the stairs, I've bled. It's just been a crazy pregnancy, honestly. And yesterday, for about an hour, they were on and off. I tried like timing it, but it was kind of really hard to time it. Because while I was timing the contractions, once it was over, it kind of also like lingered, so it was really hard. I was having contractions, painful ones, and it was also my back. And so if that's anything similar to back labor, I don't ever want to feel it again. 
Because if my son I didn't cry, he brought me to tears. Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since my last update. As you've seen in the previous clip, that was from I don't even know when. From that clip, I planned that I was going to vlog again. That did not happen. So, right now, I am currently 36 weeks pregnant today. So, a few things. Depending on if you're here, because you've seen a post on Instagram and you followed me for going on five years now for my first pregnancy, you would know this is a milestone for me because based off my original due date and physically how far my body was pregnancy-wise, I had my son today at 36 weeks at 3.39 a.m. But while I was in the hospital for the five weeks because of all my complications, they had pushed it back to a few days, so they made my due date farther, farther up, so I was less along, and so with all my hospital reports, some will say I gave birth at 36 weeks flat, and then some say I gave birth at 35 plus 3, but anyways, physically, I've been pregnant longer now with my daughter than with my son. Um, I had my 36 week appointment yesterday, and so I had my last growth scan, so she is still on the smaller side. She is like in the lower per uh, percentile, and um, she's measuring 33 weeks, and is estimately 5 pounds 2 ounces. And at birth, my son was 4 pounds, and then like once a lot of weight dropped, he was 3 pounds 7 ounces, so she's already bigger. So that's good. So she, there is still growth restriction, but there's no stopping of growth like with my son. She's just going slower. And yeah, um, I do plan to deliver vaginally again. Um, we do run the risk of her getting stuck again just because she is bigger. And honestly, my OB is so great. I wish I had in my first pregnancy as well. We're gonna try and do it successfully and. If I have to go into an emergency C-section, we're going to do that, and if that happens, I'm going to um, get a tubal and get my tubes removed. Um, if I do it successfully vaginally or it's successful with uh, episiotomy again, um, I'll have to wait three weeks to about a month to get my tubes removed, and he's going to do it for me. And yeah, so this pregnancy has been crazy now, if you follow all the vlogs that I have posted so far. It's been crazy. And yeah, so like, I stopped taking my medi my medications since my move across the country, honestly. So I haven't, it's terrible, I haven't been taking like my aspirins or my progesterone because I haven't gotten refills. I finally got them, but I haven't like actually picked it up. But my body is doing fine. Like my blood pressure is stable without the medication. And I think from nine weeks pregnant to whenever I stopped the progesterone, it did wonders, even though I stopped, because I think that's the only reason why I have not gone into labor yet. So I'm happy about that. But like, I'm even happier right now that my body is keeping her in. It's stable without any medication, because I don't like taking medication. I've always been that way. And yeah, so health-wise, like my body's doing fine. She's doing fine. The only, I would say, hiccup this time is, I mentioned before, I was in GBS positive in the first trimester. And so I didn't have to do the swabs yesterday because I already know, they already know. So I'm going to have to be on antibiotics and stuff during labor and delivery. But he's like, you know, the chances of Elsie getting it are really slim. So the only annoying thing, as you can see, because it's an eyesore, is sometimes in pregnancy, and even just in general, but specifically for my case, sometimes in pregnancy, um, something called a uh, hemangioma can pop up they can like go anywhere on the body but i got one on my lip i know it's pretty gross sorry it sticks out yeah so i got this you probably don't notice or maybe you start to notice it probably in my vlogs around maybe 23 weeks because I I got it either at the end of January or the beginning of February 
and it was really, really small. And I have a bad habit at picking my lips, always have. And so at first I thought it was just a cold sore and I was just picking at it. And then it started bleeding a lot. Like it would like leak blood like to where it would not stop bleeding for half an hour at a time every time it was cracked open. And also with each time that happened, it would get bigger and bigger and bigger. But like I said, I'm like, my cold sores don't do this, but I just didn't think of anything else. And then it got bigger, and then we moved into the place we're at now. And I still didn't have my Alberta health card because you have to wait three months anyway. So even if I were to have gotten it, I still would have had to pay because they don't take my Ontario one at this doctor's office. So the first visit I went to, we paid $40, which is pretty good because we didn't pay for the treatment on top of that. But he, um, he let me know it was a hemangioma, which is a dilated blood vessel. So this is a blood vessel. So that's why it's bleeding all the time. And so we did, um, nitrogen treatments. I've done about seven now. One, once a week. And as you can see, it hasn't done anything. It's gotten worse. Um, so I've been pretty, like, makeupless, and honestly, I don't like going out because I'm constantly stared at. Like, I'm used to being stared at because of my cleft palate, but, like, having this on my lip is just, like, you can't hide it. It sticks out when I'm, when you look at a side of you, it's just, I've tried wearing lipstick, and, like, I mean, it's a bump, you see it, and it's, like, massive now. Um, I was going to get laser but with how big it is now i think the only option is surgery to remove it so they cut the whole thing out they cauterize it and then they sew it up so i'm gonna have to do that after lc is here and depending on the price if it's not too crazy i'll do it as soon as i can if not i'll try and wait and then use my husband's benefits for myself if it's covered but yeah it's bumming me out honestly it's run like the end of my pregnancy because i just don't feel like i'm not insecure because i i still feel so happy in my skin and whatever but like it's an eyesore it's a headache and <laughs> that's something else that's happened i'm always getting questions why i don't show my face and all my bum dates and it's not because i'm insecure and Whenever I have this thing on my lip, I'm, I feel like I'm doing you a favor not showing my face, but even if you, like, go back to, like, my first pregnancy, or if I'm doing a body picture or an outfit picture, I just like the angle and having the camera, like, blocking my, blocking my face like this. I personally like the way that looks. Like, there are so many selfies I've posted, like, <laughs> not that serious. But when you're constantly being asked and how you're being asked, then it does get annoying a bit. Because there's many reasons why I might not want to show my face sometimes. Sometimes I feel dead because I'm like a zombie right now. Sometimes I don't have good self love days because of my cleft palate. Sometimes I don't want to show this. Some days this looks better than others. Some days it looks fussy and crusty. Some days it seems smaller. Like it really just depends on the day and the mood. And yeah, but I just, I don't know, I guess I, I struggle to realize the curiosity, like I get the curiosity, I don't get the point to where you're that curious that I guess you're almost calling me out, questioning me, but like even if you want to question me, I feel like there's a proper way to do it, like message me one on one, it just seems more genuine, yeah, so that's the pregnancy update right now, I'm going to insert a clip of the bump currently, and my parents are flying out from Toronto sometime next week and we're gonna try and get um as much exploring done as we can hopefully the walking helps me get my body ready for labor i'm getting induced at 39 weeks so that's either like may 29th or 30th unless she comes on her own we all take all the vets we're thinking if she knows someone else it's gonna be during my 38th week so yeah stay tuned time will tell yeah Thank you.